Alrighty. <clears throat> oh, I need to get my mouse. What am I doing? Okay. Yo, what's up, MJ? How we doing? Not watching unless it's for me. <laughs> yeah, it's, uh, yeah, it's totally for you. Totally. Totally for you, lady. I don't, I don't even know what you mean, Kay. What do you mean? Of course it's for you. Duh. Jeez. Who else would it even be for? All right. There we go. Live chat. MJ, how we doing? Okay, got to get all this stuff out of the way. Thank you, whoever gifted me that PC. <laughs> okay, let's talk about what we're building today. Oh, there's a car alarm going off outside. All right, we've got, <clears throat> excuse me. We've got this Ryzen 9 7900X. We've got the RX 7900 XT. This one's from XFX. 850 watt power supply, 32 gigs of RAM, two terabytes of storage. We've got this really nice new uh, team group uh, AIO, ASUS Tough motherboard, some deep cool fans, and we've got a custom painted NZXT H6 flow case. Now, this is the first time we're ever going to build in this case, so it should be pretty interesting. It looks like a really cool case. It's very reasonably priced, so we'll uh, we'll show that show that off here in a little bit. But let's get into the build. You were waiting for your Christmas present. <laughs> <clears throat> All right. Let's get into it. Ooh. Don't need any of this other stuff up here right now. Just want this. All right. Asus Tough X670E plus Wi-Fi. I need to I need to sharpen this knife, man. It's getting bad. Yo, what's up, Kelly? How are you? Kelly is the actual owner of this PC. Sorry, Kay, I lied. It's not actually you. <laughs> but you have to watch still, Kay. You have to. All right. Let's get it started. Get the motherboard out of here. Okay, we don't need any of this stuff in here. Put that in the box for later. Same with all these manuals and stuff. We don't need that. We know what we're doing. Is that a mason jar that you're drinking water from? Yeah. It's, uh, it's the only, like, besides my coffee mugs, it's the only, like, device I have to drink from in my office. <laughs> and I clean it out every now and then. Delicious. I also have a really nice water cooler, so I get to drink, like, icy cold water. Mm, so good. I'm glad to hear that, Kelly. Hope you're excited this PC is awesome. I can't wait for you to see the design. We didn't even show you what we were doing on the design. So hopefully you like it. <clears throat> it is the color you desire. It might not look like it on these cameras in this lighting, but it is. Your new Cam Canadian bestie. What's up, Mark? How we doing? What the? The pull tab came off, but nothing else. And now it fell down there. Oh my gosh. Starting off strong. Starting off so strong. All right, let's get the stupid pull tab out of here without breaking anything. So, so you'll stick to the motherboard, but you won't stick to that piece of plastic that you came shipped with that you're designed to stick to. That's cool, that's cool. Oh my gosh, this can't be this. Jeez, what a pain in the butt. Making sure nothing came off. Everything looks fine, we're good. But, there's a piece of plastic back here that was supposed to come off with that. So now we gotta get that off. How we doing, Mark? Very excited, I'm sure the design's perfect. Well, it was done by Mrs. Redneck as per usual, so it is pretty awesome. Oh my gosh. Ugh. This 
This is why they put the pull tab on there so I wouldn't have to do this. That's the whole purpose behind this thing. Fine. Oh, what the? What in the world is going on here? I'm so confused. What a terrible job they did on this thing. Okay, fine. Like, this tiny little piece here and this little piece here came off with the plastic, but I don't think they were supposed to come off because very clearly they were going for this flat black. Well, it's the back of the case. It doesn't really matter, but come on, Asus. How dare you do that to me on camera. Uh, your new Canadian bestie. Oh yeah, uh, I got the text-to-speech working too. So if you want to use that on, uh, if you're on Kick, you're more than welcome to use that. Uh, oh, I forgot to, I need this for a second. Hold on. There we go. Okay. Uh, you just gotta type in TTS. Shout out, test, test. Text to speech. Just type in TTS before your message, and then you're good to go. All right, let's get our Ryzen 9 7900X installed. It's gonna be great. 12 cores, perfect for gaming and streaming. And perfect for this computer because it's got also an AMD GPU. So you gotta go Team Red, right? Everyone has it set up differently confusing. Everyone has it set it up differently is confusing? Yes, it's true. Um, it's configurable within Botrix, so yeah, it's not, not always the same. Okay, there we go. Got our CPU installed, easy peasy. Ooh. Nothing really shot out there. Okay, let's get our two terabyte SSD installed. Let's do it from the top. From the top. Yeah, it's, it's configurable in Botrix. Like you can set it up to where literally every single message, whether they type in TTS or anything in there, gets read out loud, so. And up to however you want to do it. DK, what's up? All right, it's time to get our screwdriver out here. Where is your sexy hat? Where is your sexy hat? I can't build with it on. It'd be in the way all the time. Especially once I get the, uh, get stuff inside the case. I can't build with it on like that. One more, one more, there we go. Nailed it. Okay. SSD, boom, installed. You know what's funny is I set up the text to speech, but when, when I'm building, I can't hear it anyways. <laughs> I mean, I can kind of like vaguely hear it, but I don't have like a speaker in here to, to play it out loud for me, you know? All right, SSD installed, CPU installed. Well, let's get our RAM installed and then we can get that lovely case out and show it off. This is Team Group T-Force. CL36,000 RAM, 32 gigabytes of it. It's gonna make it look real nice. And it's also, you know, powerful. It's good stuff, it's fast. Team Group is a very reputable brand and they make good stuff, so. 
No concerns. How's everybody doing tonight? All right, got all that installed. Let's get our case out here. What sort of PC, what do you think of my PC build? I wanna do it for Christmas. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's see what you got. Sorry, I felt like I was already supposed to know what you had built. I was like, um, I'm trying to think of who it was I've talked to recently about. 5600X, nice. All right, let's get this case out here. It's Monday, what do we think? day of the week. B450 Pro VDH Max. Okay. What do we think of this case? Look at that. Mm -hmm. Pretty cool, pretty cool. TTS Monday, our favorite day of the week. <laughs> it is. Looks great, yes. That's all that matters. I don't care what the rest of you think. Kelly thinks it looks good and it's her computer, so. Uh, I just don't know why I turned in that direction. That's not where I was trying to go. All right, let's get all these panels off of here. Um, I'm pretty sure this just pops up. Yeah. Okay. So this is a couple of coats of the orange paint and then also has some coats of a clear coat on there to help kind of seal it and make sure that it lasts. I think it turned out pretty nice. Okay. All those panels came off really nice and easy. One thing I don't love about the case is it doesn't seem like it has filters. Like it's got the mesh, but it doesn't have filters, which is like, I mean, it's not totally necessary, but it's nice to have, you know? Oh, let's get our accessory kit out here. It comes it out from comes in this way. What the, the heck? How am I supposed to get this out of here? I have to take the whole thing out. I need to lift this whole thing up and out. So to do that, now I can take the accessory kit out. Why is that thing so huge? It's bigger than me? Cause bigger is better, okay? Bigger is better. All right, uh, 6600, 16 gigs, gigabytes of RAM from G-Skill, B450, 5600X, uh, 650 watt bronze certified. That's not a bad little build. I mean, that should be like, Budget-wise, like that should be pretty cheap too. Um, I would probably jump up to like the 6600 XT. I don't think it's much more expensive, but in terms of performance, like in game, I think it's pretty significant. So you might consider going bumping up that one piece, but the rest of it is pretty solid. It's 700, only 700 bucks to build that? That's not bad at all. That's not bad at all. All right, let's switch back here. Scooch this over just a little bit. Get this guy inside. This is kind of an interesting case. Like it's a, you know, it's a dual chamber case, kind of like the, the H9 Flow or like the Lee and Lee 011 Dynamic and stuff, but it's a much more compact. I know Lady, it's, I know Kay, it's like, it's still big, but in terms of like overall size, Comparing it to like the O11 Dynamic, it's it's nowhere near as large. Yo, what's up, Hannah? How are you? Oh no, you did not. <laughs> Is bigger not better? Am I wrong? Six by thirty-two. That should be the right one. Sometimes they change it up, but NZXT typically uses this one. Yeah, the sixty-six hundred XT. 
There's a, there's an RX 6600, I believe, without the XT. But yeah, if you're looking at the 6600 XT, then I think then you're good. Yeah, that's a that's a solid little build, especially for 700 bucks. And I think with that 5600X, you probably don't even need a secondary cooler. Like you can probably just use the um, stock AMD cooler without any issues as long as you're not overclocking it or anything. It's been a minute. It has been a minute. I've been pretty good. Been busy. Um, stuff at work's been kind of crazy, but it seems like that's kind of coming to an end, hopefully. We'll see. We'll see. How we doing, RK? Hopefully you've got something ready to go, RK, so you can uh, you can be getting stuff done while you're watching. You know? Not gonna overclock. You just want to play. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, you should be able to get away with just using the stock AMD cooler. Wait, this? No, 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 not this. Um, someone on the YouTube chat, K, is looking to build his own computer and was just asking for some, um, like thoughts on, on the parts list that he had put together. This build uh, is in the realm of $3,000. This is a very nice, nice build. It's got a Ryzen 9. It's got a 7900 XT, which is like the second from the top GPU available for AMD. This is no, this is no slouch. See, this isn't a budgie build. This is, this is big leaks, all right? Big leaks. Okay. Yeah, if it's seven hundred dollars, take my money. I'm gonna go cry in the shower. <laughs> all right. Let's take off these included fans. Ooh, that spins real nice. Um, and then we're gonna put the deep cool fans in, in their stead. Not gonna overclock. You just wanna play. Like you still might want a slightly better cooler, but that's always something that if you're finding it's running a little hot, you could you can always do that later. Come on, Kay. Just release a new song and then you're done. You got it. You got the money. We know. This will be your first build, so do I like need anything else when I build it? Um, yeah, you'll need you'll need Windows 10 or 11 on a boot drive, ready to go. Um, you'll want to download the newest uh, BIOS file for that motherboard. Um, yeah, how much is that motherboard? Because. It's a pretty old chipset, so if you've got, if you can get a newer chipset for the same price, it's definitely worth looking into. You'll have a big league computer, that's right. right. Let's take all these out of the way. Okay. Okay, we got some nice, nice channels in here for uh, all of our cable management. That looks pretty nice. We've got, these fans came daisy chained. That's pretty cool. I like that. These, the ones that come with like the H7 flow and the H9 flow don't have that unless they're updating them to have that in the future. They are just standard fans without any sort of uh, daisy chain capability. That's nice. Throwing them out either way. Because we've got RGB fans. Try looking for the. Uh, they're all compatible with it. Anything B550 is compatible with it. You might still need to do a BIOS update, but other than that, they are all compatible. They're, it's, the, it's just a newer version of the, um, the B450. You could even go. You could even go X570 if you can find one in that price range. But. 
Okay, new fans. We'll get these side ones on. There's some on the bottom that we can install and then we can put the one on the back. MSI Pro B 550M VC Wi-Fi. Yeah, that's solid. So I would say that's in the same realm of like, like what the the other one is um, is worth, I guess. That's the right term. Okay, so these are all gonna go like this. Just tie them in together. Bring them in from the front. Uh, 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 hopefully without dropping them all. Sneak that through there. I think my phone has been vibrating a lot. Oh, don't do that. What the heck? There we go. Why was that so hard to fit in there? Like you can't put it in at an angle or something. And they really don't want you. <laughs> they don't seem to want you using uh, extra fans, huh? That's a thick boy. What case is that one? It's a NZXT H6 Flow. How we doing, Slow Snipe? Is updating the BIOS hard? No, it's not hard. It's very straightforward. It's very rarely, I mean, I've never bricked a motherboard trying to update the BIOS, so, you know, take that however you will, but I've never had any issues doing it. Gotta figure out how to get install this like this. There we go. There we go, that's better. That's better. Now those cables aren't out in the open. Perfect. And they're even kind of in place. They're kind of held in place right now. Do you update the BIOS in, you you do it before you can install, you wanna do it before you install Windows. Like literally it's the first thing you do when you when you boot it, fire up your computer. I actually have, I'm pretty sure I have at least a couple of videos um, where I show what updating the BIOS looks like on YouTube. So you can check those out. I think it's called what to do after you finish building your PC. And I step by step like show you how to like update your BIOS, um, a couple of the, do some of the settings in the BIOS, um, installing Windows, all that stuff. It's got everything. So you might wanna check that out. Maybe bookmark it for later. It's a long video, but it kind of steps you through everything. Yo, what's up, Charity? How we doing?
Hi, babe. Yeah, yeah, definitely check those out. Um, you know, maybe you probably don't need to watch it before you before you build your computer, but because it is pretty long. But you know, just have it have it ready on your phone when you after you finish building your computer, and then yeah, just watch it through. Is building the PC hard? Um, it's not overly hard. I mean, sometimes it can be. The hardest part is if something like doesn't go perfect, like it doesn't start up right away and you have to try and diagnose what might have like, if something like came in, you know, not working properly or whatever, like that's when it really gets hard. And then yeah, cable management can be kind of hard too, but you don't have to cable manage it super well. It's your computer. I also have a video for how to build a fully functional PC, so you could watch that too. And that'll walk you through step by step on how I generally um, put a PC together. Or you can watch a bunch of, you know, these live streams. Have I played Zombies yet? I have. I actually really enjoy it. I don't know if it was the greatest, like, thing to stream, but it was fun to play. What type of monitor or monitors would you suggest with this PC? Um, 1440p and make sure it's at least like 165 hertz. Um, I've always bought like IPS monitors, like IPS panel. Um, you know, if you've got the money, you could go with like an OLED monitor. They are, you know, definitely more expensive, but. Pro tip when you're ready to build a new PC, pay right next to it. <laughs> well, there's that. Yo, what's up, Wes? New phone, who dis? Um, I mean, for me, building a PC is not hard, but I've also built a lot of PCs. Uh, this is actually number 145, I think. Maybe 146. I've got, it, I've got it listed out somewhere. I meant to put it in the stream description today, but I forgot. Oh, are those for 140 millimeter fans? Did they not put in support for 120 millimeter fans down here? Well. I guess we have, we probably have some 140 millimeter fans that we can put in here. They just won't be RGB. That's uh, unfortunate. Hold on, hold on chat. There we go. Like that. We got these, these ones. Okay. So, the bottom ones sadly will not be RGB, but that's okay. I didn't realize they only put in holes for 140s. That's lame. Is knowing what to plug in and wear hard? Um, not if you watch my video. <laughs> I mean, probably would be. One forty-six to three. You're losing this competition. 
What competition is that? Okay, I think what we'll do is we've got one extra of these from a previous build, one of these fans. So we'll put these away. We'll uh, we'll refund um, we'll refund the cost of that second set of fans, and we'll use this one for the the third RGB or the fourth RGB fan in the back, and then we'll be good. Let's do that. PC build count. Yeah, we're on. This is either 146. This is either 145 or 146. I can't tell if that's sarcastic, Sorless. <laughs> These are all tightened down pretty good. You're on build number three. Let's go. Oh, you're being serious, okay. Yeah, I mean, there is a lot of little things to know when you're building a computer. Um, a lot of that just comes with time, building. So, there's a lot of knowledge to have, but, uh, you know, I wouldn't say it's difficult, necessarily. Ah. Okay. All right, so, Kelly, I don't know if you're still in here, but I'll send you back the cost of three of those fans and then we'll be good. What's up, Richard? How we doing? Okay, bottom fans installed. We got all of our intake fans in there. Uh, let's put our exhaust fan on and then and we'll keep going. Okay. Put this guy in to that fan up there. Oh, look at that. Do we have access to it? Oh, not quite. Okay. So we need to connect this fan in. Since we don't have the bottom fans from Deep Cool anymore, I need to connect this fan across here to this guy. But in order to do that, I need to back this one out. so that I can get this connector plugged into there. As soon as I placed the order for the height, placed the order height, made a post about on Discord about shipping updates and such. Well, you just now placed it? I thought you had placed it a while ago. What happened to that? Okay, cool. Kelly, you're in here. Tagged Redneck in a PC build with 15 fans. Dude, half of those fans weren't even in there. That doesn't even, that, that doesn't even count. Half those fans were like outside of the case. It's ridiculous. It doesn't even count. Okay. okay, there we go. Now we got that plugged in. Put that back. But why? Yeah, because half the fans weren't in there. That's why I said why. It's like there's just fans laying around the case, like not even in it, not doing anything. Like maybe if they had at least like double stacked the fans or something useful. Uh, basically saying certain models are able to ship now while others are not, but if you receive the shipment notification, you're good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, mine should be here any day now. Mine shipped, supposedly. In that video, it said the newest BIOS on a flash drive. Yeah, you need to download it onto a USB. So, um, 
what you can probably do, I mean, it depends on how much time you want to spend, but like you could either, you have kind of two options. You either have two different USB drives, one that you put the BIOS on and one that you create the Windows installation media on, or you put the new, newest BIOS on your USB drive. Once you flash it, you can then wipe that drive and put Windows on it and um, then install Windows onto your computer, however you want to do that. The black case are what they're able to ship now, so maybe you won't be waiting long. Hey, there we go. Yeah, I'm considering rebuilding my old gaming PC or, or something um, akin to my old gaming PC into that case and bringing it to Loot Fest in February. We'll see. Does the BIOS need to be? No, it doesn't need to be very big. It's it's a very small, like not even a gigabyte. I, like I do, I put all my BIOS updates for all these computers on like a 256 megabyte drive. It's super small. It's a great build. What are you going to be playing on it? Ooh, good question, good question. I think I am, Richard. I think I am gonna be driving. It's a crazy long drive, but um, now that I know what it's gonna cost me to do everything there, like it's way less than I originally thought it was gonna be. And so I would rather be able to like bring more stuff and not have to worry about trying to get it ready for shipping and just like take an extra couple days off and drive there and back. Going to play online and stream, I hope. Go to your motherboard's website, yes. Yeah, all of that, all of that, Sorless is in the video, I swear. Like it's literally like step by step, okay? I promise. Okay, so we got all those fans there. Um, <laughs> we've got a couple of things here. So we'll use these for the the fans on the bottom for these two guys. Okay, got that. Let's get our HD audio installed here. Over on this right, well, left-hand side. I do not like to drive and only do it out of necessity. Yeah, I mean, it's probably not gonna cost me much more to drive than it would be to fly. I mean, it might honestly be cheaper to drive than to fly and um, have to ship all that stuff. Like, I'm gonna be bringing a lot of stuff. So, it's. I think it's gonna be cheaper in the end. I don't mind driving. I'm just gonna have to make sure I, you know, be smart about it, not spin. You know, not, not overexert myself, you know? Okay, USB Gen 3.2. Boom. Very excited. <gasps> Kelly deleted her message. It must have been an awful, mean, hateful message. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Uh, as much as I love the your NZXT S340 Elite case, all my pricey Noctua fans are wasted. Yeah, that's the thing that I love about all of the new fan or all the new cases that NZXT has been coming out with this year, is they all like, besides the Elite versions, all of the airflow like flow read like, versions have super good airflow. Um, I would not like in the old versions like I did not use um, NZXT cases at all because their airflow was so bad, but they, all of their newer ones are just, they're top notch, man. The airflow is good, the pricing is good, the quality is good. It's hard to say no. Okay, there we go. Got RGB down in here. It'll definitely be cheaper to drive. Uh, I'm renting a vehicle for the whole drive. Because we, we have two we have two vehicles at home, one is my old truck, and one is my wife's car, and 
Um, she needs the car and cannot drive the truck. So, I mean, she probably could drive the truck if she really wanted to, but she is not a confident driver of the of the truck. And honestly, it's pretty hard to drive. Like it's it's got no power steering, no power brakes. Um, it's manual, which she also doesn't do very much. So, yeah, I'll be leaving the car here for her. And I'm renting a car on like Turo for really cheap and it has unlimited miles. So, like it's like unlimited mileage that I'm allowed to put on it. So that's what we're gonna do. What's up, Neo Smith? What do you call it, Kyle? I can't keep up with a mistake. Nice, nice. Yeah, the H6 flow in white is amazing. Well, we've got it in black. Well, technically now black and orange because we painted it, but I found the website. So then I download drivers and downloads. Uh, you just down, just download the BIOS and then everything else you can do later. Yeah, in BIOS. No, you can get all the drivers um, via the MSI Center app in Windows. Okay. We've got all that in here. Let's get our, let's get some of our power cables in and then we'll get the AIO out. I think there's just like random little bits of dust up there. Okay. Power supply. We've got a Seasonic Focus, 850 watt power supply. That should be more than enough for the 7900 XT we've got in here. Thanks for the response. I'll have to look at the newer models as I love the aesthetics of your current one. Yeah, yeah, they're newer stuff. Like this one, this one just came out. This was like within the last month. Uh, the H7 flow, the H9 flow, the H5 flow. Um, yeah, they're all really good cases. Hi, Diana. How are you? To what state am I driving? Texas. For a loop fest. But that's not until next year. All right, let's get all of our cables out. We can get our power supply out here while we're at it. Okay. Uh, Mark, this is the uh, NZXT H6 flow. Think of it like a smaller, differently shaped Lee and Lee 011 dynamic. Um, yeah, yeah, you can do all the drivers after, after you're all set up. Like those, you can't do those within the BIOS. Those are all within Windows. Okay. Cables, that's what I was doing. <clears throat> oh yeah, it's all gonna be business expense. Everything's getting paid for by the business. Um, which is why I'm trying to budget it all out now because trying to figure out how much I need to have saved up, what it's gonna look like. Um, oh, your old Ford pickup, it's mint? Yeah, I love that thing. It is a beautiful, beautiful truck. Um, but yeah, my wife does not wanna drive it, understandably. Okay, PCIe, PCIe, should only need those two. And then we've got, oh, that's another PCIe. Oh, that's a single PCIe. Do we only have one single PCIe? There's CPUs. Okay, I guess we have a single and a double. That's fine. How does high humidity in a house affect a PC? Uh, I don't know. I mean, I guess if you have exposed electronics, it could be bad for it over time. Like maybe a little bit more corrosion, but that's a good question. Never like tested that at all. I wouldn't think it would cause any problems, but then again, I've never tested that. Yeah, every single thing about this trip is gonna get expensed, 100%. I'm gonna try and pay, and I'm gonna pay for a decent amount of it this year. So it'll come out of, you know, this year's like profitability, um, thus reducing my taxes. And then next year, yeah, it'll be all the food and rental and stuff. What environment do you live in that you have that high humidity in your house? Yeah, that's a good question. Anywhere on the East Coast, probably. 
Uh, is the 7900 a triple fan? Uh, this one is. I don't think they are. Ex I don't think the 7900 XT is exclusively triple fans, um, but this one is. Okay, we've got that cable in there. I think we can save the rest. Don't need to do the rest of these right now. Um, I just wanted to do that while we had good access to those uh, CPU power cable uh, headers. But let's get on to this. CPU cooler. Uh, when everything works and the PC turns on, does it automatically go to that red screen with a little thing set up? Uh, sometimes it will, sometimes, some of them will go, like go to a, a thing saying like, oh, we detected you have a new CPU. Press F1 to, to go to the BIOS and set it up or whatever. And then you just press F1 and then it takes you to that screen. Now you see why people pay me to do this, Sorless. <laughs> uh, it's your brother's house in North Carolina. He keeps it hot in the summer and cold in the winter. Ugh. No, thank you. I do like North Carolina, though. It's a beautiful place. Been there a handful of times. Okay. There are fans out here. I have never built in this uh, in this case, and I've never built with this CPU cooler, so let's go for a ride together. I can probably guess how to put it together by looking at it, but we'll see. We'll see if we decide to pull out the... Oh, yes! I think I saw it. I think I saw it. It looks like they use the built-in AMD mounts. Let's go. Okay, what is all this? What is all this? Wow, that is, I have not seen one of those in a while. That's a Molex to um, fan connector, in case you need to do that, I guess. Um, okay, got some thermal paste here, and this is how I knew. Wait, not that. That's not how I knew. This is how I knew. So we don't need to do anything on the back plate. We can just, so, like, Literally just stick this piece on to the cooler block. Um, and then we're good to go. Uh, can you have Kelly 7900 XT in return? I will post the smiley face. Mm, I'm gonna... I'm gonna say no. Just because... You know, I don't know if that's enough. I don't know if that's enough to, to really pay for this one, you know? Ooh, interesting. Team group has also gone the route of putting the pump on the top in the radiator, which means conceivably, you could put the radiator at the bottom of this case and it would still work. In fact, that might even be the almost, almost be the optimal place for the pump. Um, that way you never have to worry about air getting trapped in it. But, eh, no, you don't want to do that because then you'd still get air trapped in this, and that's bad. So, nope, scratch that. But still, it is interesting that they put the pump in the radiator. There was someone else, there was another company that I used recently that, that does that. All right, we're gonna put this in this way, like that. Looks like that's the way they intended it because the T-force is on this side too. So let's do that. Um, we'll put our fans in real quick. So. Put our fans in like this. So if that's gonna get flipped, this needs to go this way. Tails to the right. Yeah. <clears throat> you can probably search how to install Windows. Uh, yeah, it's super easy. The, the website, like the, the Microsoft website that gives you the download um, also has like a little step-by-step -step instruction. There's, there's literally like three things to do and then it's just done. Next time I'm in Florida, let me know. I can't remember the last time I was in Florida. It was a long time ago. <clears throat> yeah. 
think the last time I was in Florida, I was a small child. It's hot over there. I feel like if I'm gonna be in weather like that, like I wanna be in like Mexico or somewhere. Uh, so when I get all, to all the bio settings and do I plug in the USB and do what you do in the video? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. The humidity in the house really won't affect the electronics. That's what I, like, that would be my assumption. Um, most electronics are, yeah, designed to be able to withstand, like, reasonable humidity. I wouldn't expect it to cause any issues. Now nah, you'll be fine. <laughs> uh, I'm going to try and guess what state you're in by your truck. Clean, clean, rusty, free, rust-free, late '60s, early '70s, Utah. You're not too far off. Not too far off. You're on the right side of the country, that's for sure. All right, got them all started, getting them all tightened down. Richard, how have you not yelled at me yet for not pulling Susan out? We Look how far we've made it. At this point, do we just ignore Susan for this entire build? What do we do, chat? What do we do? Do we just do we just assume? Do we just pretend like Susan isn't here, and we just leave her out for the rest of the build? All Utah, Utah trucks have rust. Sorry. Oh, really? Is that just because of like salting the roads? You've been distracted. Sorry. All right. Well, what do we do now? Do we bring her out now? Do we just pretend like she's not here? What do we do? Wyoming? No, getting colder. Yeah, because they, they salt the roads. I don't know if they salt the roads here, to be honest. I didn't grow up here, so I don't know stuff like that as well. I didn't think Utah salted. Could still use her for cable management. It's true. All right. You're right. You're right. All right. Let's do this. Okay. Let's do that. Tip that back. Oh my gosh. Why is every single thing sitting on top of my mouse pad? Please don't knock that over. There we go. Okay. There we go. Something just fell on the floor back there. Okay, that's fine, that's fine. All right, Susan. I promise we didn't forget about you. We just almost did. What's up, Hatfield? Hey, Eric, we are building a gaming slash streaming PC. It's got a Ryzen 9 7900X with a 7900 XT GPU. And lots of goodies, a beautifully built or a beautifully uh, painted case, which I, there's no panels on it right now, so you don't get to see that yet, but you'll get to see it in a minute. And uh, yeah, all the things. Hashtag Susan. New Mexico, mm, still not closer than Utah. Utah's been your closest guest so far. And the water solution also. Water solution? Water solution, what's that? Go southeast. Huh? Arizona. 
closer? Maybe? I don't, I don't know, think Arizona's closer than, uh, than New Mexico. <laughs> you need to go northwest. <laughs> A brine mix. Nevada, you're getting closer. I showed some people the vinyl sticker for the Zelda PC case and they were in awe. Dude, isn't that thing sick? That thing turned out so well. Yeah, dude, that thing turned out so good. What the hell, I give up. Come on, man. Pretty sure we're neighbors with Nevada. I guess he'll never know, chat. I guess he'll never know. Good Lord, those are some long cables. Right, that's what I'm saying. Look at this. They were messing around with these RGB cables especially. Nevada is south of me. This is very true. Yeah, I know where Nevada is. The other ones, I was like, I don't know in relation to where I'm at now, exactly what direction, <laughs> other than in general. So is Utah. Well, Utah also borders us, so. Oregon or Cali? One, you're one away. It is Oregon's neighbor to the east. I guess technically Washington's neighbor also to the east. All right. Okay. Oregon is west of Red's home. Oh. Get this in here. There we go. There we go. Oh, that's tight. Okay. All right. I need to bring this down so I can see the top. Oregon is west of Red's home. Idaho. He's done it. He's figured it out all on his own. <laughs> so easy. Ding. Uh, thank you for all these videos. Built another PC from scratch the other day using your video to assist me. Hey, I love that, dude. You're welcome. I love to hear that. I know I just subbed on here, but I've been watching Tell you on Facebook for a while. Hey, rest. that's awesome. Glad, glad I was able to help some people out. Tell him what he's won, Red. You've won a, a restraining order. No, I'm just kidding. I don't know. I don't know. Ding, 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 ding. I wonder what that ding, ding, ding sounded like in the text to speech. You'll PM your address for the 7900 XT. All right. How about instead of getting a 7900 XT, you get one of these mugs. Hold on, give me one second here. Get the last of these in here. And I'll show you this new thing that we just uh, we just did, and that we're gonna start, we're gonna put it on the website soon. Check these out. Redneck Engineer Yeti mugs. Hmm. Hmm. These are 10 ounce mugs, so like a standard size coffee cup. We've got them right now. We've got them in red. Got them in white. And in black, check that out. How cool is that?
Oh my what? gosh. I just shocked my Steam Deck and then it crashed. Uh, how much are they selling for? Good question. Uh, the first round was 47 plus shipping. I think the new ones, I was able to get a little bit cheaper. Well, let me do the math of my brain. Uh, the new ones, I think, are going to be 42 plus shipping. Tell me when they're posted on buying. You can buy one right now, Richard, if you want. Um, they're not posted on the website yet, um, but if you if you want one, we can make it happen now. We don't have to wait till the website. I've got a queue of of names already already going. Oh, Kelly, you're getting one as well, by the way, in case you were curious. <laughs> <laughs> uh, because you paid with the uh, ACH transfer instead of uh, uh, credit slash debit card, um, that saves us a little bit of money um, on the transaction that I account for in sales because very few people use ACH transfer. So I thought that would be a fun thing to, to toss in there. You want the black? You got it. Turtizzle, what's up? Okay. So... We've got one connector there for this RGB. Sweet! Yeah. Okay. So that's going to go in there. I'll we'll have to route that to the back. We need to take this guy out. This guy goes like a dish. And then we need these guys here. Well, some of that. Just need two of these. The rest of that is for Intel. And we should need this. Don't need that. Shouldn't need this either, because it seemed like those can all daisy chain on the back, so I'm not sure why they provided that, but. but yeah, Richard, Richard, just send me a DM if you want one. And we'll uh we'll get it sorted. I already like I said that first bat like I got that first batch and I was like, planning on just like keeping one for myself. I was gonna send one to Kelly, and then I was like, well, I'll probably just like take the rest and you know use them for loop fest or something. And I was like, you know, I should just post it and see if anybody wants one of these. And then I had a bunch, like, I had several people buy one, like, right off the rip. And so, like, oh, maybe I should, uh, maybe I should, uh, put these on the website then. <laughs> um, yeah, and I'm hoping I can bring down the prices a little bit more, um, if possible. But, you know, I pay the, the price of the, um, the mugs, and then I have to pay someone to engrave them. That's really where the the up the up charge really happens. All right, get all this thermal paste on here. Team Group apparently is one of the few companies that does not pre-apply the thermal paste to their CPU coolers, which is fine. Checking with the wife to see if she would want one. Bet. Um, and there are other colors on the website, like or like where I'm buying them from. Those are just the only three colors that we, we have to, at, at the moment. Jatana, what's up? What are we talking about, Tertizzle? We're talking about these. I'll just show you one of them real quick. They come in red, black, and white, but we're gonna be adding these to our website. It's a nice little 10 ounce Yeti brand um, tumbler with the, the RE logo on there, laser etched in, so. It's never gonna it's never gonna wipe off that's laser etched into the powder coat so it's the exact same as like what's up here it's just the bare steel pretty cool so we're gonna we're gonna get those on the website soon but if you're interested in one in the meantime until we get those on the website uh just shoot me a dm and we'll we'll get it his only fans page yeah team group now makes coolers this uh this cooler just came out earlier this year That 
way overboard on the amount of um, thermal paste, but I didn't know how... Some, com some companies' thermal paste is like really dry-ish when it comes out. This stuff is like super... Oops, oops, oops. This stuff is like super um, liquidy. So it made it like really easy to spread. Usually you have to put extra on because it doesn't spread as easily. But this stuff was like real easy to spread. Okay, we should be good there. I'd be a little thin in the middle, but we should be okay. Don't really need that much. It's supposed to be just enough to um, make up for like tiny imperfections in the surface of the material. So really don't need a lot. All right, that's good enough. That looks good. You've had good luck with the Raymond SSDs? Yeah, I, I, did. I have two. I kind of want to try and get um, a partnership going with them because they're local too. Like Micron is here in um, the Boise, Idaho area. His OnlyFans page. <laughs> Now what I gotta do here, when I change out the case, should I clean and reapply thermal paste? Um, it's not that old. It's like not even a year old yet, right? You go on, get something going with Asus yet? Nothing so far. I've reached out to them on Twitter a few times and they keep saying like, oh yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll check back in and see what's going on. But um, yeah, we'll see. You've been into a Micron facility in Nampa? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, they're, they're very much local to me. Like they're like the only industry um, people that are here in the area. So I would definitely like to to work with them. That would be really cool. Get a tour, you know, all that good stuff. Okay, so we got that in there. This is our three to one cable. Thank you, I'm glad they included that. So we'll get that in here for our CPU cooler. All right peel on there, we can take that off. Ayo is only a few months old. Nah, I, I wouldn't do it. I wouldn't even like, I wouldn't even disconnect the the AIO like CPU cooler block. I would just leave it connected on there and move it, you know? Oh my God, these cables are stupidly long. They're just so dumb. <laughs> so dumb. Okay. This is where cable management expertise comes in play, I guess. All right, so we got that one. Bunch of these cables. Where did the, okay, there's the AIO cable, pump cable in there. Did a new reflow of an installation and training. Interesting. Yeah, I've never actually been to their their uh, site here. That would be cool to do, though. Okay, got those connected. I just stick those down there for now. Well, I guess I can't because these are all wrapped around it. Okay, time for RGB. We've got 
Ridiculously long RGB cables. The case is huge! It's not that big. Ooh, that felt solid. Like, I don't even feel like I need to use um, tape on those. But I mean, I will. I'm going to. Because I don't trust them. But I don't feel like I need to use tape on these because they feel real sturdy. Are you buying everything retail? Uh, yeah, sort of for the most part right now. I was doing stuff with Mushkin and I was buying that at wholesale prices, but their new stuff isn't as good. Like they don't have good DDR5 RAM and we've been having some problems with some of their SSDs recently. And so I'm kind of stepping away from using them. It was like 25 years ago. Well, that was, yeah, it was quite a while ago. That case is not that big. It's not nearly as big as some of the other cases we've worked on. Like even the the NV5 that we built in recently, I think is bigger than this thing. But it is, it's, yeah, it's not small. I know, I mean, that's the, the thing is, is like I'm not very big. And so I don't have any sort of pull trying to get wholesale contracts. Like I don't do enough volume for a lot of these companies to do that. Like I can get wholesale, like I have business um, stuff set up with some of these like resale places like DNH Solutions and like Best Buy and other stuff, but that doesn't really get you special pricing. It just kind of gets you more access to stuff. You might get special pricing if you order it in like very large quantities, but like I can't do that in good conscience because I just end up with a bunch of stuff in, come on. I should end up with a bunch of stuff in my pocket and then, um, or in my inventory and then have trouble selling it down the road. Come on. Can you like not do that and just like go in? Oh, that one's bent a little bit, that's why. There we go. One of the header pins was just a little bit bent. Now we're now we're good. Okay, so we got all of those in and installed. So let's get those, we're gonna zip tie those down over here. Yeah, no. I would like to, but yeah, it's just one of those things that like, nobody wants the wholesale stuff in quantities of five, <laughs> you know? Like the only thing I can really consider wholesaling is like RAM and SSDs. Those are the only ones that like I can, like with good conscience buy in, in a reasonable amount, maybe, maybe the coolers and like not be worried about being able to sell them later. Um, everything else is just like, it's tough, you know? It's so custom. Again, I don't know how many of those companies want to sell a few at a time. Oh, I already don't pay taxes on stuff. I have I have my resale permit with Idaho, so I don't have to pay taxes on stuff uh, anywhere that I have it set up. It's so like Best Buy, Newegg, Amazon. Um, I have those all set up. DNH Solutions, I have those set up, so I don't pay taxes on on anything I buy through those accounts. I just don't get special prices, you know. How big are your mouse pads on your site? Uh, great question, great question. They are a little over 11 inches by about 30 inches. So here, we'll pull one out for you, show you. They're this big. Like that. Uh, exact length. I think it's roughly, it's roughly 30 inches, 31 inches. So basically 11 by 31, I 
thought I had asked the the web people that I work with to <clears throat> put that on the site, but you know maybe I didn't do it. Maybe it's my fault. I don't know. I feel like I need to start an Asana account and just have every time Richard thinks of something to just, <laughs> to just write it down for me. <clears throat> Yeah, so I already don't pay the sales taxes, which is super nice. Um, that helped a lot. I set that up earlier this year. I mean, I didn't have to pay sales tax in Oregon because Oregon doesn't have sales tax, but it's really nice not having to deal with it here either um, anymore. Okay. My God, these AIO cables are so long. Um, I might fold them back on themselves <clears throat> and redo those zip ties. We're about to order one. Let's go. I, I was using deep cool AIOs pretty regularly. No, they're just a really good price and they're, they make a good product. Deep Cool's another one of those ones that like I reached out to them and I like literally never heard back. Like I actually I did actually reach out to Deep Cool and was like, hey, you wanna wanna do like wholesale stuff? And they never responded. So like I like I mean I had to reach out through like their website, which is obviously like not the best like ideal way to do it as a business, but yeah, it did it didn't work. It didn't work. No, I just don't have the pull that I need. I need, I need more sales, you know? Is the NV5 bigger than the O11 Dynamic? Um, it's taller, but not, I don't think it's bigger. Like, it's definitely, like, a little bit, like, taller and, and stuff, but it's not as, like, um, deep. Okay. Redoing all these zip ties. By all of these zip ties, I mean, like, all four zip ties that we're using here. Got a grandpa slow snipe desk mat and coffee mug. Nice. And a poster on the wall. Let's go. Because when I get mine and they still fit back where the other is in, it's kind of tight. Yeah, you can look up too. Um, you can look up on online and it'll give you like the exact dimensions of it too if you're if you're curious. Like on the on the Fantex website. It'll show you the exact uh, dimensions of the case. Okay, that's better. That's nice. There we go. Mischief managed back there. That looks a lot better. Okay, we don't need that. Um, we can get the power supply in now. 
Oh, actually, let's, let's route these CPU cables up here. Lock and load came in with a follow earlier. Thank you. Appreciate that. That's what I appreciate about you. Okay. That's kind of out of the way. We'll be able to manage the stuff on the bottom once we um, get our SATA connector out for this. Okay. Speaking of which. Get that out. Get our power supply out. Okay. Get our stickers off here. What's up, Lemons? Case is massive. Nah, it's just an optical illusion. Just wants you to think that. Okay, SATA connector, done. Will you come to Michigan and tidy up my shoddy cable management? Not share any pics of it. Um, no, I gotta be able to share pics, pics of it. Be able to show off what I do, you know? You also have to pay for my flights and food. Your glass side is pretty good, but the cable area behind is horrible. We can fix that. Why does my phone keep going off? Okay, got everything except for the CPU cables in. Which we're gonna get in right now. That. Okay, that slides right in there. It's perfect. Easy. Get our bolts out here. Wait, got another peel over here we gotta get off. Got a YouTube noti of one of your builds while I'm in the live notis are working. Nice. Love to see that. That was something Facebook seemed to never be able to figure out was how to make sure people actually get live notifications. Get our motherboard in there. Motherboard power cable in there, I should say. Hey, whatever happened to the sweatshirt merch idea you had? The sweatshirt merch idea you had? Uh, I just haven't done anything about it. I don't know. I haven't really had that many people asking me for merch. So I haven't spent much time on it. Are you talking about the camping one or just or the like CPU um, trace one?
Makes sense. Yeah. I feel like if, people, if a bunch of people start asking me about merch, then like, then I will consider like doing merch. But at this point, nobody's asking about it. So I'm not doing, you know, much of anything. Like I'm doing the, you know, I'm doing the, um, the mugs cause they're easy and I like, they're cool. Uh, and I think I thought people would actually, you know, people would be wanting to buy them and that, um, and that uh, they'd be cool to take the loot fest. So even if you know people weren't really wanting to buy these first few that I made, like I could you know either sell them or give them away at loot fest. But getting close to GPU time, chat. <laughs> yeah, sure are. Just doing a little bit more cable management here. Doing some cable management here in the back. Kind of want to like. Maybe I'll use one of these Seasonic ones on there. Just to hold those down, make them look a little bit better. Doesn't really need to, but why not? Okay. Got that out of the way. Let's get our GPU power out of the way. And we will do this. Okay, and there's SATA power. So I think we do something like this. SATA. You may be a little bit more excited. I would I would think so, Kelly. I I think you're probably more excited than uh, than Snipes is. Just just guessing, but I think so too. I want to run this back here. Run that back dish. Cable management's a little slow. Just have to kind of, just gotta bear with me. I want to get all this looking pretty nice by the time we uh, get the GPU in there. This will be your first gaming computer. Let's go. Love that. Honored be able to build the first gaming PC for you. I just, I mean, I enjoy building every computer, no matter, no matter what it is, but that's always fun, getting to be, be a part of that. Okay. Okay. That is relatively tamed back there. So let's get our GPU in, figure out what we need to do with these GPU cables, and then we'll be good to go. Be ready to fire it up. No demand, no supply needed, I know. I mean, there might be some demand. There's, I mean, it's just not vocal enough to, to make it to my ears, you know? Like, there might be demand if I created it, if I created a product, but a little risky right now for me to try and do that. Especially because if I do it, like I would want to sell it through my site, which means then I have to hold the inventory. And I definitely don't want to do that. Don't want to hold a bunch of inventory if I don't have any demand for it yet. She better be at the top of her team with that bad boy. Yeah, that's right. Cod is the game. That's right. GPU is massive. It's pretty big. It's pretty big. What is that? Holy, 
Now that is a GPU support. Holy cow. Look at that. Okay. I think that's everything this thing comes with. What's up, Buckshot? How we doing? Um, I mean, if you had a fire sweatshirt design, I would buy and wear it. It's true. It's probably true. I feel like... Ah! Don't do that. Don't fall. Stop it. I feel like in the short term, if we did... Like, if I came up with a design, we would do pre-orders on it. It's like, come up with a design have it open for pre-orders for like, you know, a couple weeks and then and then order all of the sizes that people wanted, you know. Hey, Kicked, good to see ya. Doing good. All right, now we got a bunch of plastic on here to take off. So let's do that. Can you guys hear this? Hold on. Plastic keeps tearing. Only peels. The only peels. You guys get a free only peels without even having to wait for me to post it. It's just here. Ready? Similar to the RE electric mouse pad. Ooh. Like a sweatshirt similar to the RE electric mouse pad? I'd be down for that. You're gonna need her to carry you into some dubs. Okay, let's put that down. There we go. Yeah, there's a lot of peels. Okay. Yeah, we're all good. Okay, so I think before we install the GPU, we should probably install a GPU block or this GPU uh, support. Okay. So this goes like that. The question is, is this giant, I mean, this GPU support sticks out a decent amount? So it doesn't really, uh, really fit. Like I know, that I'm sure the GPU fits, but I wanna make sure this thing fits. Ooh, it does. Okay, we're good. Okay. Should have taken those out first. AMD GPUs are relatively cheaper. Um, yeah, but who uses ray tracing? Who uses ray tracing anyways? We're all COD players here. We don't use ray tracing. This is a pretty slick solution though for uh, GPU support. Kinda like it. I know Gigabyte, Gigabyte does this, or something very similar to this on their stuff too. And it's just, it's very nice when the GPU supplier does it rather than um, having to do it third party or via the case. Okay, so that's gonna take up one more slot. So we need to take off this guy. 
some other games do have ray tracing and some two people do want that. <laughs> yeah. Fine. Done. Okay, and then this guy I think needs to go. I don't know which side this goes on. Like this chat, no instructions. We don't need no education. It's hard to do this in a way that's easy to stick it. Okay, that should work. All right, so that's just a little spacer since we don't have a bracket. Um, since we don't have this bracket here all the way down, there's just a little spacer there to help take up that space. And then we've got all these extra guys here. All right, let's do this. Oh, wait, wait. Gotta take that off. Okay. That is in there. Oh, we need to take one more out. Oh, shoot. If only I knew how to count properly, we wouldn't have had this problem. What is ray tracing? Yo, when you become famous, you remember me? Of course. Will I ever become famous though? Hmm. Only time will tell. All right. Okay, let's try this again. to get these bottom ones uh, lined up, but that's not too bad. It's not too bad, and I think it looks pretty slick, especially in this all black interior of the case. All right, let's make sure that doesn't look like it's hanging down too much. Hey, is that not the right size bolt? Uh, do you have the MV5 review out yet? Uh, it's being edited right now. Like my editor has actually like actively been working on it. Oh, it's just not quite lining up right for me. There we go. There we go. Now we're in there. Oh yeah, that's sturdy. That's sturdy. If you yank on it, it's still gonna come down. But that's not bad at all. That's not bad at all. Okay. GPU installed. I love the look of these XFX GPUs. Yeah, Gary, it'll uh, it'll come out within the next week, hopefully. She's working on it right now. Okay. Um. I 
think I would like these to come out underneath the GPU. This. Oh yeah, those are plenty long. Perfect. Okay. Yeah. Looks pretty good, huh? Huh, Kelly? Looks pretty good. Hold on. Can I get it through that? Can I get it through that grommet there? Yes. There we go. That's there. Okay. Okay. Get those in place. We're gonna use zip ties just to hold those little. Uh, extra ones on so that they, you know, they don't look all funny. Looks very good, will look better at your house though. It's true, it will. All right, so we'll do that. Thought I was done with zip ties for the day, but not quite, now we are. Okay, so now we just gotta pull those back through here. Okay, so they're nice and tight through there. Gonna look so good. Hopefully that that burnt orange color is everything you hoped and dreamed it would be. All right, there we go. Cable managed, mischief managed. We can even do a little something here just to kind of make it look a little less chaotic right there. Maybe it's really completely not necessary, but I have it and sitting there. There we go. Boom. How's that? What do we think? I think we actually might need to undo this because this uh, motherboard cable is kind of sticking out. Should be good. That's much better. This is now just a token cable tie for no reason. Okay. Okay, we've got that. Now that you've seen that it is indeed cable managed, it's going to get hidden for all of time. Now we're looking like that. 
Mm hmm. Got this. This one right here. Now we're talking. Now we're talking. Here, let's, let's pull it down here, and then you can really get the uh, get the full effect of that paint job. Bring it back up. Pretty freaking sweet. Anyone else in chat want to play? We have open lobbies. <laughs> There's only one Grandpa Slow Snipe and Cod Kelly. Send me an invite. We play a lot of zombies these days. Ooh, zombies is fun. Would look good in your game room. <laughs> All right, chat, you guys know what time it is. You guys know. It's time to fire it up. And in order to do that, cue the Sarah McLaughlin music, I'm gonna need you to put in as many fire emojis as you can find so we can fire it up, okay? And then I'm gonna have to pee because I've been drinking some water. I think that's enough. Do we think that's enough for it to be like nice mood lighting? No, it's not. It's not enough. Let's do that. Turn this guy nice and low. Same thing here. Just nice and low. Just enough to be a little mood lighting. I better see some fire emojis over here. Oh, there we go. Uh, who did that paint job? Uh, uninterested spectator. That's my wife. She did the paint job. Um, babe, thanks for coming in. Jatana coming in with those uh, fire emojis. Slow snipe. Dwayne plays Emberetto. Megan Kelly. Dwayne again. Slow snipe coming in with more other fire emojis. Eric Kennedy. Emberetto. Richard over on kick. All right. I think you guys have achieved it. I think you've done it. Get the power cable out right now. Richard with other more different fire emojis. Gary Donalon coming in. More fire emojis. Okay. We ready for this? Are we ready for this? Should we pull the camera up a little tighter too so you can like get a really good view of it? Forward, and then we're gonna bring the camera in just a little tighter. There we go. There we go. All right. I hope you're ready. I hope you're all ready. Lock and load. Where's the power button? I don't know. <laughs> Never used this case before. It's down here. Okay. There we go. Three, two. Well, let's go chat. Thank you guys for all those fire emotes. While you're here and you're looking at this beautiful PC, if you haven't yet, make sure you back out of the chat and click that like button for me. Um, it's huge on YouTube for the algorithm. So if you wanna just slap that like a few times for me, or well, I guess you can only do once. If you slap that like for me, um, that'll be awesome. That'll really help out the algorithm for our um, YouTube builds. We're gonna flip this all the way around so you can see it on the other side. See those lights sticking through? Pretty cool. Looks sweet. Is the sticky still on the front glass? All of the stickies are still there right now. All of them. Congrats, Kelly, hope you enjoy. Yes, I hope so too. Sheesh. Right, Megan? Right? Looks amazing. Well worth having you build this. You're welcome. I'm so glad you like it. Can't wait to finish getting it all set up so that I can ship it out to you and you can enjoy it in the courtesy and comfort of your own home. That's pretty sick, right, Bretto? 
Looks dope with the fans shining through the paint job. I think so too, Ammo. I think so too. But yeah, don't worry, Ammo. There will be a um, there will be an only peels uh, for this. Don't you worry. Don't you worry. We might even if they if they arrive on time. I ordered some stickers that go in the center of the fan hubs. So if they arrive on time, we might even be able to test those out on here. Because there's three fans in here on the interior that um, is like the ugly side, as it were, facing in. Um, so we'll have some like RE branded stickers to stick in there. Should be pretty cool. You're very welcome. Okay, chat, I need to run down the hall and go to the restroom, and then we're gonna play some Call of Duty. Probably maybe some multiplayer, try and uh, keep leveling up some guns for the, the um, integration of Modern Warfare 3 into Warzone. But uh, yeah, we'll see. Okay, you guys enjoy, just enjoy that, uh, that computer. Chat amongst yourselves for a little bit and I am going to go to the little boys room. Okay, I'll be right back. All right, I hope you guys have been enjoying yourselves. We're going to uh, move on over to kick for the remainder of the stream while we uh, play some games. Hey, thank you so much, Slow Snipe. I appreciate you guys hanging out. Um, everyone that's on YouTube, if you wanna keep watching the stream, head on over to kick.com forward slash redneck engineer, spelled exactly the same way as on YouTube. Uh, that's where we will be playing the Vidja games for the rest of the evening. So if you're if you're interested in doing that, head on over there while I get this um, camera moved over so that y'all can, can watch me. Not the camera watching the PC, that'll be up there all night. But the other camera will not be. So I'll give you guys another couple minutes over on uh, YouTube before I switch over to just being on kick. That way y'all have some time to, to move over. You're so welcome, Kelly. I am glad it turned out so well and that you really like the, uh, I'm really glad that you like the, um, the paint job. It's always hard when like someone just, you know, kind of gives you something simple, like not a whole lot of like details and we just kind of run with it. There's always that like, well, I hope they like it because 
we didn't really we didn't really talk too much about it <laughs> but so far we've yet to have a bad experience with that because obviously my wife does amazing work so we're 100 percent 100 percent on all those just about ready to end the YouTube stream. If you haven't moved on over to Kick yet, make sure you do it. I just need to move my stream deck and get some more water, and then we'll be ready. Oops, as I knock my stream deck off. Cool. I'll do that. Okay, let's get some water. She did great, I agree. I'll make sure she knows that. Okay. All right, we're officially putting this microphone away and we are ending the stream on YouTube. If you are not yet following us on Kick, go over there. If you're not following us on YouTube and you've been watching, make sure you're subscribed. Uh, we do all of our PC build streams over on YouTube and we put a lot of good, uh, good videos up. Hey, you have a good night too, Kelly. Okay. Head on over to kick.